Hey guys, I'm Montana. I'm Adam. Uh, we're still in Ohio Bourbonist. Today we're going to be reviewing uh, not a bourbon, a wheat whiskey out of Spokane, Washington called Dry Fly Distilling Specialty Barrel Seven Year Wheat Whiskey. It's out of Spokane, Washington. It's a 132 point. Hmm. Very specific. Yeah. Obviously, it's not going to be too new of a distillery, being uh, it's got a seven-year product. Uh, not sourced, which is always good. So wheat whiskeys, uh, similar to bourbon with American laws, it's going to be 51% wheat, 49% other cereal grains aged in new charred oak. Uh, this does have a secondary barreling on it, but it has to at least be aged in, for two years in new charred oak. Uh, we don't exactly know what the other barrel is. Not a lot of information on the website. I hope that's something they can clean up in the future. Yeah, I agree. All right, we'll get into the. Okay. It has a surprisingly soft nose uh, for being 132 proof. You know, almost 133 practically. Uh, kind of soft, soft little opening there. Bread. I see a lot of bread. Yeah, I'm getting like a. Baking spice is kind of like what you'd find in in a rye. Um, they a little spicy. I know a lot of people when they think of wheat, um, they're you know people on the stage probably going to be coming from bourbon and stuff. They're going to think Maker's Mark or or Weller or things of that line where what wheat mean, means soft tasting. Uh, but I think a lot of times in wheat whiskey where it's 51 percent or more, you're going to have more spicy taste out of the wheat because the corn's not overpowering that. Yeah, I'm getting some. Uh, Ethanol on the nose, not not real bad, but you know it does block out some of the you know yeah. other yeah. aromas that you know, you'd probably be getting out of here. Let's you know freshly cracked bottle, you know, let this sit right. for a while probably. And it, again, high thirty three proof. It's not an unsurprising amount of ethanol given the proof. So let's just jump into this. would argue blind that this is bourbon. <coughs> yeah, and no, I get a nice, uh, got that tobacco, very, yeah. kind of like, um, you know, something I would definitely get off of a bourbon. It's, it's a little peppery, though. Uh, kind of, kind of tingles my tongue a little bit there with the spice. I like it, though. Yeah, definitely getting some of that, you know, black pepper on the back end. Nice. It's got a nice long finish here. I'm waiting, waiting until the finish is over to go back to my second sip here. It's a nice, uh, not a Kentucky hug, you know, I mean, Washington hug. <laughs> um, there's a lot of good whiskeys coming out of Washington, though. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Woodenville bourbons and stuff like that. Um, pretty, pretty good stuff. Yeah, definitely getting some uh, dark fruits in there as well. Um, not a long finish. Uh, it's actually... For me, it's 132 proof, and it's yeah, you're gonna kind of short. You you would think you know it's gonna, gonna get gonna a little bit more of a finish, you know. Mouthfeel isn't you know I don't I think it's a little thin, yeah. Not, you know, real uh, uh, thick mouthfeel. So it's, 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 it's really good. I mean, for the the proof wise, I mean 130. Plus, you know, it's definitely, you know, easy drinker. Yeah, it's yeah, for not sure. Anything crazy. So, and it's one of those things I think a lot of people get get scared of proof when they think, mm -hmm. well, I've had, you know, Jack Black Label that's 90 proof and it burns, like no one's business. Well, this this is gonna be a little different because it's gonna be aged a little better. It's gonna be kind of carefully picked so that it doesn't do stuff like that. Uh, they're going back on this on the nose. Um, I get a lot more barrel on it like just sawdust strong sawdust flavor which i mean for a seven-year product that's that's really good yeah now i pick that up the, the tannins give it that little bit of dryness in it i think it's not like real dry but you can definitely pick up yeah. on that and you know i kind of you know, I, I enjoy it I think it's, yeah i think yeah. it's a really good thing it's, it's something good. that i would uh tell people if you're you're typically into bourbon and you want to kind of venture out, mm -hmm. try some other American whiskeys and stuff, this might be a good stepping stone before you get to malt or uh, real high stuff. 
the high rise stuff. Um, this would be a good stepping stone in that direction. Uh, what's the price point on something like this? Uh, the price point on this uh, is around 50 bucks. Oh. You know, it's not super expensive. This one right here was a uh, select by Maple Lawn Wine and Spirits out of Maryland. Um, but you know, I'd imagine they, they all taste you know, fairly similar you know, for a seven year. Yeah. Um, but no, it's I, I really enjoy it. I mean, I, I would have, you know, being more into bourbon and um, rye, you know, uh, I like some scotches and stuff, but I may have walked past this. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. You know, I was offered a, a, a sample at the store, you know, one of their picks, and I thought, hey, this is really great. You should probably do a review, let some other people, you know, see what's out there and, and go try it for themselves. Yeah, uh, definitely. I was a little surprised because, uh, honestly, I've never had a lot of wheat whiskeys that I enjoyed, so th this is uh, kind of refreshing to see that, and it's good to get these out there so people can maybe pick up something they might not necessarily buy seven days a week, you know? Yeah. Um, so, and honestly, at $50, I'd almost consider this pretty good value for the, the flavor profile you're getting, uh, the, the oak tannins which I know a lot of people really enjoy, so 50 bucks, I think. Yeah, I mean, do. age statement, proof-wise, I mean, I know there's a lot of people out there that like the, the higher proof, and I mean, you really can't you know, beat it at the price point and, and age statement, so yeah. I think that's great. Yeah, I think it's pretty good value. Uh, I'd totally recommend this, Ab. Yeah, absolutely. All right, well, that's all, all right. I got. Yeah, take care. Thanks for joining us.